I am 30 this November. You are still small in your fourth year. We stand watching the yellow leaves go queer, flapping in the winter rain, falling flat and washed, and I remember, mostly the three autumns you did not live here. They said I'd never get you back again. I tell you what you'll never really know, all the medical hypothesis that explain my brain will never be as true as these struck leaves letting go. I who chose two times to kill myself had said your nickname the mewling months when you first came until a fever rattled in your throat and I moved like a pantomime above your head. Ugly angels spoke to me the blame I heard them say was mine. They tattled like green witches in my head, letting doom leak like a broken faucet, as if doom had flooded my belly and filled your vicinity. An old debt I must assume. Death was simpler than I'd thought. The day life made you well and whole. I let the witches take away my guilty soul. I pretended I was dead until the white men pumped the poison out, putting me armless and washed through the rigmarole of talking boxes and the electric bed. I laughed to see the private iron in that hotel. Today the yellow leaves go queer. You ask me where they go. I say today believed in itself or else it fell. Today, my small child, Joyce, love yourself self where it lives. There is no special God to refer to, or if there is, why did I let you grow? In another place, you did not know my voice when I came back to call. All the superlatives of tomorrow's white tree and mistletoe will not help you know the holidays you had to miss. The time I did not love myself, I visited your shovel walks, you held my glove. There was new snow after this. They sent me letters with news of you and I made moccasins that I would never use. When I grew well enough to tolerate myself, I lived with my mother too late, too late to live with your mother, the witches said, but I didn't leave. I had my portrait done instead. Part way back from Bedlam, I came to my mother's house in Gloucester, Massachusetts, and this is how I came to catch at her, and this is how I lost her. I cannot forgive your suicide, my mother said, and she never could. She had my portrait done instead. I lived like an angry guest, like a partly mended thing, an outgrown child. I remember my mother did her best. She took me to Boston and had my hair restyled. Your smile was like your mother's, the artist said. I didn't seem to care. I had my portrait done instead. There was a church where I grew up, with its white cupboards where they locked us up, row by row, like Puritans or shipmates, singing together. My father passed the plate, too late to be forgiven now, the witches said. I wasn't exactly forgiven. They had my portrait done instead. All that summer sprinklers arched, over the seaside grass, we talked of drought, while the salt parch field grew sweet again to help time pass. I tried to mow the lawn, and in the morning I had my portrait done, holding my smile in place till it grew formal. Once I mailed you a picture of a rabbit and a postcard of motif number one, as if it were normal, to be a mother and be gone. 
they hung my portrait in the chill, North light matching, me to keep me well, Only my mother grew ill, She turned from me, as if death were catching, As if death transferred, As if my dying had eaten inside of her, That August you were too, But I timed my days with doubt, On the first of September she looked at me, And said I gave her cancer, They carved her sweet hills out, And still I couldn't answer, That winter she came, part way back, From her sterile suite, Of doctors, the seasick, Crews of the x-ray, The cells arithmetic, Gone wild, Surgery incomplete, The fat arm, the prognosis poor, I heard them say, During the sea blizzards, She had her own portrait painted, A cave of mirror, Placed on the south wall, matching smile, matching contour, and you resembled me, unacquainted with my face. You wore it, but you were mine, after all. I wintered in Boston, childless bright, nothing sweet, despair, with witches at my side. I missed your babyhood, tried a second suicide. Tried the sealed hotel a second year. On April Fool you fooled me. We laughed and this was good. I checked out for the last time. On the first of May, graduate of the mental cases, with my analyst's okay, my complete book of rhymes, my typewriter and my suitcases, all that summer I learned life, back into my own. Seven rooms, visited the swan boats. The market answered the phone, served cocktails as a wife, should, made love among my petticoats, and August tan, and you came each weekend. But I lie, you seldom came, I just pretended. You small piglet, butterfly, girl with jelly bean cheeks, disobedient three, my splendid stranger, and I had to learn why I would rather die than love, how your innocence would hurt and how I gather guilt like a young intern, his symptoms, his certain evidence. That October day we went to Gloucester the Red Hills, reminded me of the dry red for fox, coat I played in as a child, stock still, like a bear or a tet, like a great cave laughing, or red for fox. We drove past the hatchery, the hut that sells bait, past Pigeon Cove, past the yacht club, past Squalls, hill to the house that waits, still, on the top of the sea, and to portraits hung on the opposite walls. In north light my smile is held in place, the shadow marks my bone. What could I have been dreaming as I sat there, all of me waiting in the eyes, the zone, of the smile, the young face, the fox's snare, in south light her smile is held in place, Her cheeks wilting like a dry orchid, My mocking mirror, my overthrown, Love, my first image, She eyes me from that face, That stony head of death I had outgrown. The artist caught us at the turning, We smiled in our canvas home, before we chose our forenoon separate ways, the dry red for fox coat was made for burning. I wrought on the wall my own, Dorian Gray. And this was the cave of the mirror, that double woman who stares at herself as if she were petrified in time to ladies sitting in amber chairs. You kissed your grandmother, and she cried,
I could not get you back, except for weekends. You came, each time, clutching the picture of a rabbit that I had sent you. For the last time I unpack your things. We touch from habit. The first visit you asked my name. Now you stay for good. I will forget how we bumped away from each other like marionettes on strings. It wasn't the same as love letting weekends contain us. You scrape your knee. You learn my name. Wobbling up the sidewalk, calling and crying. You call me mother and I remember my mother again. Somewhere in greater Boston, dying. I remember we named you Joyce, so we could call you Jor. You came like an awkward guest. That first time all wrapped and moist and strange at my heavy breast. I needed you. I didn't want a boy. Only a girl, a small milky mouse, of a girl already loved, already loud in the house, of herself, we named you Joy. I, who was never quite sure about being a girl, needed another, life another image to remind me, and this was my worst guilt you could not cure, nor soothe it, I made you to find me.